My name is Samson Adioy, I attend Baptist Group of Schools, a Jamabit Johnny am here to support the motion which says, school uniform is good. My name is Beatrice, I attend Baptist Group of Schools, a Jamabit Johnny am here to support the motion which says, school uniform is bad. School uniform spare kids and their parents of the time-consuming, troublesome ordeal of picking out a set of clothes every day. During the rushed morning hours before school, picking out the right set of clothes, especially for girls, can take up a lot of time. Many kids would be happy to be rid of the hassle, and they can save their good stuff for outings and weekends. Uniforms are a method of reining in the creativity and freedom of expression of students. Conformity is important. Among the reasons why school uniforms are a good idea, the most strongly stated one is that they promote equality. Distinctions made on the basis of economic status are reduced. With everyone dressed alike, there's a hope that kids will judge others based on character instead of the clothes they wear. Safety of students is compromised by uniforms. In the events of natural disasters or emergencies, such as earthquakes, tornadoes, fires or terrorist attacks, it would be really hard for parents to identify their child from the midst of a milieu of similarly clothed children. School uniforms can save parents a lot of money as they then only need to buy their kids casual clothes to wear on the weekends. Otherwise, parents need to constantly replenish their child's wardrobe with the latest fashions, which can be very expensive. They would need to provide clothes for five days of every week plus weekends, sports and club activities. This can be economically taxing for parents, and the constant demand for new clothes will be very stressful. Uniforms are a special money saver during the growing years, when kids outgrow their clothes every few months. Contrary to popular belief, even with uniforms on, certain children will get picked on by others. Cliques will still be formed and students will find ways, such as weight, complexion, financial status, to pass judgment upon their peers. While bullying may not stop, use of uniform at least prevents students who are in dress fashionably or according to the latest trends, from getting picked on for their choice of clothes. School uniforms are very often unflattering, and it can damage a child's self-image. It prepares children for a working life where they often need to wear uniforms, or at the least dress conservatively or follow a dress code. Also, the purpose of attending school is to learn, and anything, such as clothes, that take away from that goal, needs to be discouraged. I am going to rant on something that upsets me constantly. Uniform divides two schools which is enough to develop fights between the two school groups, which consequently results into a serious rivalry. Students from rival institution are easily identifiable because of their uniforms while they are on the way to school or returning home, resulting into bullying or terrible fights between two school groups. Casual dressing leaves school administrators with the complex task of setting a dress code as well as monitoring students' apparel. They need to check inappropriate clothing such as strapless, halter, and midriff bearing tops and two short skirts and shorts. They also need to keep an eye out for inappropriate insignia on the clothes, such as slogans for alcohol and cigarettes, and symbols such as the Nazi symbol or vulgar language. Don't forget that as a Nigeria citizen, we all have right to many things. Right to life, right to dignity of human persons, right to personal liberty, right to fair hearing, right to private and family life and right to conformity is important. It promotes more safety on campus as well as on field trips. Outsiders are easily identifiable and it is easier to account for one's own students.